Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Got another tutorial for you today. And uh, we're doing the Mad Max style snake knot. So as you can see, it's just a snake knot that is more or less done with a knot and loop, but done slightly differently. So it is adjustable, like the Mad Max style cobra stitch that got a lot of popularity ever since uh, Mad Max Fury Road came out. So this is the original one that we did for the Solomon knot or cobra stitch. Now we're doing the snake knot. Okay, so as you can see, it's basically the same, and it works on the kind of same principle of it being adjustable, and this is how you tighten and loosen the bracelet around your wrist. So, uh, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so I got my paracord ready here, and I'm roughly starting with 8 feet, but I will annotate the exact amount and uh, measurement that I use. So, the way we're going to start this snake knot bracelet, it's pretty much the same method as you would do a regular knot and loop snake knot. Uh, however, just with some slightly different technique. And we are tying the single snake knot version, um, which is slightly different from the um, original method taught by JD at uh, tying it all together. Okay, so to start out, we're going to tie a single snake knot. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with this knot by now. But just to review, take the left strand, make a loop behind the right strand, like this. Okay, and then we're going to take the strand on the right, put it behind the one on the left, like so, pull this through, and then we're going to put it through, go in front, put it through this loop here, like that. And then we're going to pull this almost shut. So now if you were doing the regular snake knot, you would do, you know, the half inch loop here, but because we're doing the adjustable kind of Mad Max style snake knot, we're going to make this really as small as possible and one little trick you can do is because if you keep pulling this knot all the way that way it'll come undone um, you want to just take your two cords because this is essentially what we're going to be doing later take your two cords just feed them through halfway like this now you can kind of just cinch everything tight as much as you can without the knot undoing you can kind of get an idea you want to get this as tight as possible because um, if you don't the the bracelet will not stay tight around your wrist okay so see I'm just kind of loosening it and then tightening it again I'm going to go about that much okay so I think that's as much as we can go like that okay so now we have this that's what we're going to be doing later basically so now I want to take these out and you'll work those back in later with a fit or something. Might be a little difficult, just um, pull everything out. See that's how basically small you want the loop. So now from here, uh, we're just going to continue tying our single snake knots. Okay, we're going to continue tying single snake knots all the way down. Just to show you one more time. Uh, loop, left loop behind the right strand. This one goes behind, and we're just going to pull it through here, like that. And if this is confusing at all, you can check out my original, uh, my previous snake knot tutorial. I actually did one just recently. Okay, like that. I'm going to pull these as tight as possible. So now we're just going to continue tying our uh, single snake knots, like so. Right, and I'm just going to continue going down and um, you want to tie to your de desired length and then uh, I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so as you can see I've uh, woven my entire length of my bracelet here, the snake knot. Now we're going to go back to that little tiny loop we created here. You're going to need your fid for this, It'll make it a lot easier. So I'm going to screw my fid on here like so and then now you can see where we're going with this we're going to feed both strands through the loop here okay so I'm going to go through here that's one strand like that and now we're going to take the second strand screw my fit on and then we're going to go through right next to it and um, that's why you want to keep 
I'm going to try to keep this loop as small as possible because if it's too large, um, you won't have that kind of friction to keep the, um, the bracelet shut. This is okay. Um, I think I could have made it a little tighter. But I did push the strands through once already to test it. Maybe that might have widened it a little bit. Okay, so now that we have our strands through, uh, you can guess what we're going to do next here. We're, gonna, we're going to tie the diamond knot uh, right about here. Okay, so from here I'm going to tie my diamond knot. I'm going to go through this relatively quickly because I do have a dedicated tutorial for that. So, we'll create our loop like this. Strand underneath, over, under, over. Make our carex bend like so. I'm going to push this strand through here, underneath through. Pull that one through here. So I know that was super quick, but again, consult my uh, dedicated stopper knot tutorial for that if you don't know how to tie it already. Okay, so we're going to pull this shut like that. So this is a bit large, or sorry, um, too much slack. I'm probably going to move the knot. I mean, if I compare it to my, my original one, it's not too bad. I mean, I just need to move it maybe down a little bit. So I'm going to shift my knot maybe to about here, maybe about right here, and then I'm going to snip and singe, and then it'll be finished. All right, and there we have it, guys. I'm done. So as you can see here, I snipped and singed my excess paracord, and I made it left about about a couple inches of space here, so I can get the bracelet on and off. As you can see, I have pretty much just the right amount of tension. It could be a little tighter, but uh, that's how this one ended up. But it still does work, and it will stay on. And that is the uh, Mad Max style adjustable snake knot. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if there's anything you're unsure of, just uh, do leave a question and I'll uh, do my best to answer and help you out, okay? So uh, I will annotate any and all related videos at the very end of this um, video, so you can check those out as well. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys on the next video, and thank you for watching.